Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel for another review. This one is for Jungle Cruise. Of course, the movie is inspired by the Disney Park ride and it stars Emily Blunt as Lily. She's a scientist trying to find the Tree of Life, a tree hidden deep in the jungle that's supposed to have special healing powers. With her brother McGregor, who's played by Jack Whitehall by her side, Lily sets out to find this tree and she has to hire a boat captain in order to make her way there. That boat captain is Dwayne Johnson's Frank. This movie, truly feels like a ride. And yes, I know maybe it's because it's based on one, but there's more to it than that. Jungle Cruise really is a nonstop adventure from top to bottom. And the way that the action is photographed is what comes quite close to making it feel as though you are along for this ride with the characters. There really were quite a few moments in the movie where the, the sensory stimulation of it all really just brought me right back to that feeling of being on a theme park ride. As for the story, I'm no Disney ride expert, so I'm not the one to tell you which details are original and which ones came from the ride itself. But what I can tell you is I really dug the world building and the mythology established here. And to be completely honest with that stuff, when I first heard about this main mission to find a healing tree, it did seem kind of tired and surface level to me, but there's more to it than that. And I think that those additional layers really contributed to the intrigue level of the mystery, the suspense level throughout the movie, and then also really successfully supported the supernatural components too, which watching the trailer, I did have fears that it would just be too much going on, but it works. And of course, a very big draw with this movie is the ensemble, and it's legit. Dwayne Johnson, Emily Blunt, and Jack Whitehall are an irresistible trio. We've seen it in the Jumanji movies and elsewhere also, but Johnson just shines in family-friendly action movies. And maybe this is because the last movie I saw of hers was A Quiet Place Part Two, but I just couldn't get enough of seeing Blunt embrace the, the fun and the playfulness of Jungle Cruise. Her character is the heart of the movie here, and she does sell Lily's powerful drive to find this tree and make a difference in the world, but she accomplishes that while also nailing a significant amount of physical comedy and a whole bunch of very amusing back and forth with Johnson here. And then Jack Whitehall's McGregor probably I would say goes through the biggest transformation of the bunch. And I thought Whitehall sold it all very well. He is mighty amusing at the start of the movie as someone who is reluctant to go on this jungle trip without a million pieces of luggage, but Rather than just have him be a singular form of comedic relief, the script calls for him to, to step up. And I was quite charmed by every step forward the character takes. And I found myself rooting for him more and more as he does it. I don't want to get into too many specifics on this next individual, but I also want to let you know that I really dug what was going on with Edgar Ramirez's character another person who's out there looking for the tree. I really loved the character design done with him and the team around him. And you'll probably be able to tell when you see the movie, what was going on with them was very much my kind of thing. And I also, I can't get enough of Jesse Plemons in general, but man, is it fun watching him sink his teeth into a heightened villain character like this. In fact, I don't think I would have minded seeing even more of him in the movie. Going behind the lens now, a lot of you know, I really enjoy a lot of John McCollett Sarah's darker work, like Orphan, The Shallows, and yeah, I like the 2005 House of Wax movie. And then with uh, some of his Liam Neeson collaborations, I would say they're kind of hit or miss for me, but most of the misses are at least of a certain quality level. What really excites me about adding Jungle Cruise to that mix for him is it shows off more range and an even wider skill set. Again, this is not the same type of movie here, but 
Feeling like he has a firm hand on a production like Jungle Cruise gives me even more hope than I already had before that he's going to deliver with Black Adam, especially because I think here he helps bring out the best in Johnson and also the whole ensemble for that matter. Jungle Cruise is a very big movie with a lot of different creative components in the mix here. And Colette Sarah just, he knows how to capture them all to, to highlight the vibrancy and the unique details in them while also clearly establishing an overall visual style that I think well suits the material. There's a, a confidence behind the camera happening here and I really did think I could feel it while I was watching the movie. I'm gonna go ahead and give Jungle Cruise three and a half Deweys out of five on the Dewey Decimovie scale. It doesn't have the layers to propel it to that higher tier for me. And there are a few visual effects here and there that don't work as well as some of the others in the movie, but this thing is oozing with good vibes and an infectious sense of adventure that I thoroughly enjoyed. And I would say I kind of needed it right now. It does feel like it's been a little while since we've seen a live action, family friendly adventure movie like this with such a rollicking, fun loving vibe. And it simply put, it, it just delighted me watching it. I had a blast. So if you want to check it out, get on it. And then after you do, you know what you have to do after that. You got to hit the comment section below and share your own thoughts on the movie because I value your opinion as well. And I always love knowing what you guys think of these films. All right, before I say goodbye, Patreon shout out time because you are getting this review courtesy of the one and only Billy. Billy's been a longtime member of the Patreon team and he is a wonderful individual. Billy, do know I think you rock and I greatly appreciate you. All right, that's it. I'm out of here. Thanks for watching this Jungle Cruise review. You're going to want to keep an eye on the channel. I think I got a big one coming your way tomorrow that you are not going to want to miss. I'll see you soon.